need to move away from me. You are a disgrace in my eyes. Get, ditto, ditto, brother. You know what? As a Marine, you should have been better prepared. Jump in my shit and see what happens. I am. As a Marine, you should have been I'm better right prepared. Here, your here we are again to ask the same question that we've been asking for years on this channel. Do psychopaths become cops or do cops become psychopaths? The guy that you see right here on the left is just a regular person who got his family together, who got some buddies together so they could help some hurting people in the community who suffered at the hands of Hurricane Barrel. They didn't have electricity. They didn't have dry clothes. They didn't have food, medical supplies, water. So this guy and his buddies got together to utilize the community center so that they could distribute all of these supplies, medical supplies, water, food. And while he's helping people, the mayor tells him he can't use the community center. And then the police chief goes out there, that's this guy right here, the police chief goes out there to enforce the mayor's edict because he's just a, an order follower doing what he's told regardless of what is right, rather than doing what is right regardless of what he's told. Here's the story. Clock. Some video circulating online is showing some tense moments between the Bayou Vista City Police Chief, an alderman, and another man who says they were just trying to help feed the community after Hurricane Barrel knocked out power. Well, now there are calls for changes in the local government. And meanwhile, the chief says he was just following orders. Devin Clark got both sides of the story, and he joins us from Bayou Vista. Speak. I'm just following orders. I'm just following my orders here. We are only following orders, nothing more. As a fellow soldier, surely you must understand. I've been at the mercy of men just following orders. Never again. He was just following orders. They told me to stop a guy who was helping people in our community who were really hurting that needed the help. That's all I'm doing. This just following orders business is one of the most dangerous things that you can do. Being an order follower is the one of the most dangerous people in the world because they will turn their mind off. They will suspend critical thinking. They don't care about morality. They're just going to do what they're told. And it doesn't matter how ridiculous it looks. I'm just following orders. I'm just doing my job. I don't write the laws. I just enforce them. I don't care if they're evil or immoral. I'm going to enforce them anyway, because that's my job. Well, if that's your job, you better look for another line of work. And if you were a moral person, you would look for another line of work. All you folks that were sitting at home on your butts in your air conditioning conference. This is cell phone video showing part of a heated exchange Sunday between Bayou Vista Police Chief Jimmy Gillane and City Alderman Position 5, Danny Rambin. Y'all don't pay me to do EMC. Okay, we got a guy that wants to do it. We'll okay. find somebody. Uh, you can find whoever you want. We'll Rambin, seen on the left in the blue t-shirt, said this was the result of an attempt Sunday to use the community center to feed neighbors who had lost food because of power outages caused by hurricane barrel he says the day before he was given the okay and everything went smoothly we ended up serving about 300 people on saturday and so i had another resident come to me on saturday and said hey i've got a bunch of food because everybody lost power and stuff like that i'll uh I want to donate, let's do it on Sunday. Rambin says he got permission from Mayor Paula Eshelman to use the center on Sunday too, but she later changed her mind. Well, and I woke up Sunday morning to a text from our mayor telling me that I would not be able to use the count, the community center, the pavilion, or anything affiliated with Bio Vista. He says her response when he asked why was even more shocking than the decision itself. If I wanted to do it again, I needed to use my house. And I asked her why, and she wouldn't give me a reason. She said, because I said so. Can you imagine the call? Yeah, hey, Mayor, this is the Alderman. Uh, we've got a lot of people who've brought together a lot of food. We got a bunch of clothes. We got a bunch of water. And there's a lot of hurting people in our community. How about we use the community center to help the community? Initially, she says yes. And then she calls back and says no. Why would you? So what's, what's a good reason? Liability issues? I mean, what's, what's the reason? We can all gather together at this central hub in the community center and get a whole bunch of food and a bunch of other supplies that people absolutely need because they've been without power for we don't know how long. And you're going to deny us that? And then the mayor makes a phone call to the police chief. Hey, go down there and stop this good work in progress. We called Mayor Eshelman to get her reasoning. Sir, I'm not going to make any comments, but I do appreciate you. Okay, and I hope you have a good day. All right, thank you. 
Yes, ma'am. We were just hoping that. Okay. Rambin says because of the dire need, he decided to use the community center breezeway on Sunday anyway. But things didn't go as planned. What platform did that mayor run on anyway? I bet it was. If you make me mayor, I'm going to ensure that I help people in our community who are hurting, who are struggling, who are in need. But that was their platform. A man recording the altercation also ended up exchanging words with Ghislaine. You need to move away from me. You are a disgrace in my eyes. D ditto, ditto, brother. You know what? As a Marine, you should have been better prepared. Jump in my shit and see what happens. As a Marine, you should have been better prepared. We called Ghislaine, who had this to say about the police chief who's stopping an act of kindness and goodness toward our fellow human beings is pointing at the cameraman saying that he's a disgrace. Asking them to leave. Okay, did she give you a reason why? No, sir. And I didn't ask. That's her prerogative, and that's her job. She told me what to do, and I did it. Rambin now questions whether Ghislaine should remain the police chief. Police chief Ghislaine's basically, yeah, the mayor told me to stop this act of goodness and kindness and civility. So I went out there and did it. I didn't ask why I should do it. I just went out there and did it because I'm a good boy. And that's what I get paid to do. I listen to my overlords, no matter what kind of goodness I see. If it's goodness that I see and the mayor told me to put a kibosh on it, I'm putting a kibosh on it. Doggone it. Anybody who questions that, they're a disgusting human being. Ghislaine says he also now has concerns about Rambin. Rambin needs to step down. That's who needs to step down. Alderman Rambin insists it was not a party and that all in all, some 600 people were fed. He says he does plan to bring this issue up at the next council meeting, hoping that it leads to more transparency in the future. And <laughs> even if he was drinking and partying and having a good time while doing something good, he benefited 600 people, which is more than I can say for the Bayou Vista police chief and the Bayou Vista police department. And they're, they're still going to put an end to that. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of this video that we did a couple years ago where this cop sees a guy eating a sandwich on this platform and decides to arrest him. His crime is only feeding his face. You. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you go I'm not going to jail for eating. No, for resisting arrest. I'm not resisting arrest. You are resisting arrest. How is that wrong? Where is the sign up here that says that we can't have a platform? Right, that's on my bag. Yeah, you are detained and you're not free to go. Stop. I'm not detained. You're going to have that going to jail. I've done nothing wrong. You are detained. Stop. 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 You're Stop. For what? For eating. Oh. It's illegal. The guy, <laughs> the guy keeps eating his sandwich, but the cop admits Bay Area uh, this is this is BART. This is from the BART system, the Bay Area Transport Police. So basically, I'm just following the rules. I have to lay hands on you. I have to initiate violence against you because that sign over there says you can't eat on the platform. And if the sign says it, by golly, I'm going to make it a reality in your life. I'm just following orders. I don't write those rules. I just obey them. And people are always saying, hey, if things go down and we get like a red dawn type of scenario where Chinese forces or Russian forces or whoever are parachuting into our land and setting up base camps and militarized systems are being launched against Americans, don't worry, we can trust the cops. Oh, really? When the cops are going to follow these kind of laws right here, they're going to be in lockstep with whatever the current regime is, whether it's a China regime or a Russian regime, and they'll be the ones making sure you get on the boxcar. Because they're just following orders. Stop, Stop. 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 Just listen. Stop. Just listen. Stop. Four cops eating a sandwich. That's all he did was Four, a sandwich. Four cops. And again, this is another situation where I'm sure this police chief right here probably came with backup and not one person who arrives on the scene is going to do the right thing. Not one of these cops right here who arrives on the scene. Let me see if I can get them all four into the frame here. Look at all these four. Female cop right here. 
you got a cop right here. You got a cop right here. So four cops arrive on the scene and nobody stops and goes, wait a second. Okay. I just arrived on the scene. What are we arresting this guy for? He was eating on the platform. No, seriously. What are we arresting this guy for? He was eating on the platform. That sign says don't eat on the, okay. Just give him a warning and say, Hey, you can't eat on the platform. Uh, can you go? Or if he is, is he making a mess? Why don't you just let him finish his sandwich? Is he littering? Is is he being a general nuisance? Is he harming somebody? Is he threatening to harm somebody? Did he damage property? No, he's eating a sandwich. Arresting a guy for eating a sandwich on a train platform. Make it make sense. Before you go, make sure you take a second right now and go subscribe to my brand new channel, The Disturbing Illusion. This is where we expose the left versus right paradigm political dog and pony show. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design. You can put on a shirt, hoodie, mug, hat, cell phone case, pillowcase, whatever you want. Become a channel member. But more importantly, know what your rights are and hold cops accountable. Stand on your rights. Be brave, be strong, or we lose everything. I will see you in the next video.